Hey guys, so I'm out here at the moment testing these mids. I'm very impressed with them. I did briefly hear them whilst I was like, testing them to, to get more connected. But I also want to test the difference between these and these. So it's going to be a bit hard because these are 4 ohms and 8 ohms. But if I put these on separate channels, so let's just say they're on separate channels. Let's see, let's see it's not going anywhere. So on separate channels, they should be getting about 125 watt each at full blast. So at the same sort of volume, bridged, it should be getting more watt, more wattage on these. So two versus two, these are going to have slightly more wattage, but that's like a byproduct of these being the image they are. But it should give you a representation of which ones are louder. I mean, they're still on the same frequencies. People say ferrites are better than neos, and now I've experienced these, I'd say possibly not, or maybe it's just because they're in a better match. So who knows? I'm gonna I'm gonna play about with it. I hope the YouTube copyright doesn't catch me out or anything, but I'm gonna play some songs and just see what I think see what I personally think of them compared. So on the same well they're not screwed in or anything, but I will get around to that. So at the same volume, are these better than these ones? But we'll see. Right, so I'll just turn my amps on. Uh, what the cheese to play. This one's quite mid-rangey. Ignore my, my messy car, it's not, <laughs> it's not it's not a factor right now. Let's just get this tested. So if we go with this one should do. So that was more or less full blast on them two speakers. So I'm gonna set up the, the two new ones and we'll see what that's like. All right, so sort my bridge out. So that's now correctly bridged. As you can see down here, correctly bridged. So we're gonna try this out and see what it sounds like. See if it beats the other speakers. In theory it should do, because it's got more wattage behind it. But we'll see, it's all subjective. From. As you can see, it's catching the, the bass a lot more than the others. So I need to turn that down. Still catching the bass too much. You've got a lot better frequency response, and it definitely hit the, the bass a lot harder and a lot easier, which means they don't need so much going in. It's how far they go, it's a lot quieter.
yeah, overall, they're okay. They definitely hit the, the punch more, which is what I wanted. But <laughs> I had to keep turning it down because it was just too much punch on. So I'm going to make some more tests again. This time I'm going to play with all of them at once. Let's see what that's like. That should be insane. So turn the bass down a bit more. Let's try again with the same song. This can be loud. So you know the mic's pointing away from the sound, it's pointing towards me. That is loud. Even from out here, it sounds really good. Ooh. That was loud. But that was, <laughs> it's a sex, uh, I can't even say it now, a successful test. I would say the other speakers I had were louder, not as clear. Definitely not as clear. These are definitely clearer and they hit the bass so well you don't actually need much wattage in the bass. It's just it's crazy, it's hard to explain. They sound better, they have more bass and they need less power to achieve that bass. So, uh, sorry for my bad camera. Keep, GoPro keeps turning off so I can't actually see what it's doing. But um, yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely a lot a lot more vocal than the last speakers. The last speakers, they were a bit, I'm not saying they're screechy, they were still clear. Them speakers were a hell of a lot more punchier in the same shelf. And obviously I've got six of them now, it's insane. But um, like I say, I've got two more to add. They'll be in a proper enclosure in my doors. So they'll all be along here, all along there. And amplified properly, you know, like not, sort of half arse where I've had to put six in instead of eight so they can be all symmetrical. Um, I'll have a tweeter up here and that'll be my doors finished. But that's, that's the plan for the doors. Um, other than that, there was my sub, which will be going in a boot, but I have to reorganize everything. I have to reorganize everything to, to match everything that's going in there basically. So at some point I'll have to pull things out. But I just wanted to get that test done so I can see what they're like, what to expect what kind of frequencies they've got, so I'm not sitting there in the dark about buying 800 pound speakers and having no idea how they work. So, there you go. Hope you guys find it somewhat interesting because uh, it's good to at least talk about these things. As I said, they may have been a bit louder, possibly if I'd have really reduced the bass frequency, but then if they were, they would have put them exactly where the other speakers were. And I didn't feel that they had the same I, I, I didn't feel that the more expensive speakers had the same scream effects. It didn't feel the same space in the same way. Fatal Pros, I'd give them a 7 out of 10 because they have their drawbacks. And namely one of them being weight. You don't want to put four of them Fatal Pros in your doors. Definitely not. I definitely wouldn't do it. You've got to think that's what, two and a half kilos each and you've got four of them. So that's what, 10 kilos in your door. Whereas the ones that I've got are about one and a half kilos, which is three, six in the door. I'd rather have six kilos in the door than 10. 
I mean, it's your, your thing, your hinges. Those hinges have got holes the way your speakers, your doors get slammed, speakers get ripped out, the street your doors. It's not worth it. So the light of the speaker can be better. So that's why I picked what I picked. And the fact that I have to change the image now because if the gun in the doors, how I've worked it out and how many speakers I wanted, they have to be eight ohms. It's the best way to do it. So that's how I've done it. But yeah, just let me know what you think of them speakers and um, I definitely finish I'll finish my build off and get that all looking nice rather than <laughs> how it is. It's just obviously budget slowing me down a bit. But yeah, anyways, speak to you guys later.